Okay, to begin. Holy moly. <laughs> Jeez Louise. Get me home. <laughs> yes, I am 20 years old, not 5 years old. But you know what, ladies and gents? Life is about having fun. And on that note, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, it is snowing. Subscribe. So this is where we are currently at with the project. So we are pretty deep into the project now. Most people will have an idea and kind of get into grips with creating some kind of form. As I have mentioned in previous vlogs, I'm basically looking at how we can use film, kind of sequences of film, um, to either speed up or slow down the rate at which ex-convicts can reform. Um, and by doing that, I'm having this kind of sequence of spaces. So basically like this 12 month timeline where as you go through, it's kind of like this corridor, this journey, um, kind of like this experience um, where they can either choose to speed up through the space or slow down by taking kind of diversions through um, kind of stairways and that kind of thing. Um, so they kind of have this choice of how fast they want to go through the space. Go on, go for the roof. For the one. <laughs> oh, triple. <laughs> that was annoying. Yeah, look at it from here. There's another like raw chicken and cheese with a burger underneath. It looks like a shit ton of those like slabs of cheese. Yeah, <laughs> it looks like raw chicken with cheese on top of a burger. Mmm. <coughs> looks about right. So if we fast forward quite a few days, today is Friday. Um, and I've just been spending the past few days making models, so I've made myself this model here. I thought it'd be quite interesting if I kind of showed you guys what my architecture desk looks like. So I have a interim review next Thursday. And it's all starting to get a little bit hectic, so I've kind of just got this messy desk at the moment. Um, so I thought I'd kind of just show you what it looks like without, without cleaning it up. Um, and just kind of give you an insight into kind of the things I have on my desk. And maybe talk through a couple of things that I may um, encourage you guys to have, etc. Okay, to begin, we have the big desk. I purposely bought a massive desk just so I could do as many things as possible on it so I could roll out big pieces of trace um, and currently with me making models I kind of have this as like a cutting mat so this is actually just an A0 that's going to fall A0 piece of card um, that I use as a cutting mat purely down to the fact that I can't be bothered to go out and buy an actual cutting mat which is going to be this big um, so if you ever do just want to use a cutting mat i would just highly advise you guys just to buy an a0 this is literally like two three pounds um but just make sure you don't press too hard through because i have actually gone through and cut my table which is not ideal so if you are an architect student who has like their own desk space i'd highly advise you guys to have kind of board um have your scalpel have your yuhu glue nearby um, just so that if you've got this kind of idea and that you really want to make a model nice and quickly um, You've got that materials ready for you I mean, I've actually just got materials like all the way around me just in case I need to make a quick model It's very important to explore ideas in three dimensions rather than just drawing everything in two dimension um, You can get a lot more out of something like this um, Something like a model which actually has some maybe has some context Maybe has some more scale and you can also start thinking about how ideas can like, form um, as a building um, so Yuhu is vitally important for all architect students. If you haven't come across this as an architect student, I don't know where you've been. Scalpels, very important. However, there are lots of different types of scalpels you can get. Some of them you can get that kind of the thing where you push it up. Um, but I personally prefer these just because they're cheaper. I then have a metal ruler. So the reason why I have a metal ruler, if you've got a plastic one and you're using, and you're making models and you're cutting with a scalpel, a lot of the time you will cut into the ruler um, and you'll kind of have these wonky lines and eventually you'll have this ruler that's kind of cut up into little bits um, which isn't straight anymore. Um, so if you then go to draw maybe a wall or something in a floor plan and you go to draw the straight line and the line is wonky because you've cut into it using the scalpel. Moving on. 
Another thing that I'll always have on my desk is a notepad. So every single morning, well not every single morning, but most mornings I wake up and the first thing that I do is write a to-do list. Um, just to make sure that I'm physically writing something down. Um, I think there's something different with writing it in your notes and your phone than writing it down physically. I feel like you'd get more done if you write things down physically and it kind of processes a little bit better. Um, so I always have my notebook next to me. Um, if I need to do any more research, I will have the notebook ready just to do some, uh, to make some notes. And over here we have my laptop. So as you notice, it's probably like the furthest point away from me. Um, that's because I'm trying to keep myself away from my laptop as much as possible. I'm trying to keep it at distance because um, recently I've kind of banned myself from using it because I want to try um, and be more creative. I want to have more design process, design development, um, using my hand rather than actually being on the laptop. Um, so for the past two years, I've very much spent a lot of time on my laptop designing. I mean, I feel like that's kind of held me back from um, developing concepts, developing ideas. And so recently I've literally just been using tracing paper and jotting down all my ideas using a fat pen. So this pen here. Um, with writing notes as well and this is a much more kind of efficient way of me getting my ideas down I'm mean, gonna actually notice myself doing a lot more work as soon as I remove my laptop from the equation um, But I just leave it there set up just so I can have my Netflix on my YouTube up um, on the screen And that leads me into tracing paper So if you've been watching my vlogs recently, you'd notice that I've been using tracing paper a lot recently And I've recently had a question um, on my Instagram asking me about why um, Is tracing paper so useful and why do people kind of push people to use tracing paper all the time? And this is something that I've come to realize very recently, to be honest. I've never really used much tracing paper before in my life. Um, I went to Hobbycraft the other week and bought myself a nice couple rolls um, of tracing paper. And to be honest, it's changed my life in terms of getting ideas down, um, kind of getting my thoughts onto paper, um, and not really being restricted by, say if I've got a sketchbook or something, I feel like it needs to be neat. I mean, I feel like I don't really want to be messy in it, etc. But if we've got a big roll of tracing paper, I feel like I can be, I can make storyboards, I can have little diagrams, I could be really messy. Um, and I've literally, in the past week, I've done four big A0 rolls of trace, and just full of notes, full of ideas. And um, it's really kind of helped me progress with my ideas much quicker and much better um, just to kind of get my ideas and thoughts onto paper because as architect students or practicing architects a lot of the time you'll have a lot of ideas up here but you won't know how to kind of translate them down onto paper um, so around me I do have books um, and kind of work that I've done just to keep me inspired, just to keep me motivated um, that was a piece from my deadline week so my first portfolio submission this is my book um, from the first portfolio and then obviously we've just got some pictures of the family etc We've got the speaker because I like to listen to some music when I'm doing work We've got another lamp and then we've also got the plant over here and this down here ladies and gents is the burden of my life Over here we have my daily motivation and daily reminder to hang in there buddy We have the podcast mic for of course the number one student podcast in the world the student podcast so that's always nearby, yeah, that's enough said about that. Over here we have the second TV, which of course we have YouTube on, we have Netflix on, um, and even if I'm doing like CAD drawings and stuff like that, it's really good to have kind of like two screens set up, um, just so you can kind of refer to drawings. And also when you write like a dissertation or something, you could have research up on this screen, and then you could be typing on this screen. So it's quite useful having two screens set up. Um, it makes my life so much easier, and it makes things much, much faster, more efficient. Um, so yeah, this is the second screen and that is pretty much my desk setup. Not very interesting I haven't got loads of equipment um, I think for me it's quite important to keep equipment kind of minimal You don't want to buy the most snazzy kind of stuff um, Even just by using this as a cutting mat having cheap rolls of trace and hobby craft Just having one or two pens kind of at the ready just a notebook um, it's quite easy just to kind of go overboard and buy all the expensive stuff which you don't exactly need um, You just want to kind of stick to the core ideas of architecture and that is just having a pen, having a pencil Practicing as much as possible, getting all your ideas down on paper And I think that is the key um, with studying architecture Not forgetting the student podcast sign um, I used to use that for some notes as well but I think we'll dedicate that to the student podcast And yeah that is going to be a wrap on this video I hope you found it useful. I thought it was quite interesting showing an insight into my kind of mess on my table. And yeah, thank you as always for listening and watching. I was saying that as if I was ending the podcast then. 
Thank you as always for watching the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace.